Picking, 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 picking. Picker pals. Picking, 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 picking. Picker pals. We're the picker pals. We have picker power. Living on an island, flying in the sky, and traveling in time and space. Picker pals. I think picker pals is fun to do. Welcome to Picker Pals TV. How are you all? Thank you for joining us. We have had some great fun last month on our meetups, where we had over 120 classrooms from all over the country. Join us. Do you know what? I was actually in one of the classrooms. I was in County Cork in a school called Beaumont Boys School, and it was like being a Picker Pal in the classroom. And I was watching Gary and Angela. It was the best fun ever. <laughs> Did it look good from that side? Yeah, because we were watching you after too, and it looked like you were jumping around that classroom. <laughs> you had fun there, and we also had fun too in the big Kahoot quiz. Um, so well done to Lecon National School from County Leitrim, who were our class winners in that. Yay, well done. And we've got another one coming up on the 12th of May, so pop that in your diaries and make sure you join us. So, in this episode, we travelled to Donegal in the Pickermobile for a very special event. Amazing. We also learned how to make seven fun games out of upcycled materials. And we learn how to draw, and this time it's Phil the Penguin. Woohoo! We also have a brilliant interview with Eve MacDonald. She's a famous author of amazing stories about characters who pick up things that they find. Who does that sound like? The Picker Pals! Yay! I was just going to say that. You know what, though? While we're on this topic of stories, it's time today to announce the winners of the huge story competition. We got hundreds of entries from all over the country, and we enjoyed reading every single one of them. I think, Gary, that's one of the hardest jobs we've had to date, isn't it? Trying to pick a winner out of all the entries that we got in. It was incredibly difficult. But we've done it. Patrick, do I see you waving around there? A special envelope? I'm so excited, Angela. Can I take the winners out? Will we tell everyone? Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Well, as you know, there were three uh, three prizes to be won. There's the junior winners. And the junior winners are from County Kerry. And the school is called Spa National School. And the story is called Cleaning for Rob. And it's a great story about poor old Rob getting sick. And the story was, we love this story. And the person who wrote it is called Emma Barrett. So well done, Emma. Well done, Emma. Woo! Junior category winners. Way, well done. And Emma, your school gets a pick up school visit um, from the pick up And you're going to actually do the Olympica Games at your school. So thanks to your brilliant story. Fantastic. Well done, Emma. Woo! Well done, Emma. Woo! Senior category. Senior category. Ooh, a school in County Cavan. It's called Butler's Bridge National School. Woo! Butler. And the winning story was a girl in third class. The story was called A Squirmy Guest. A Squirmy Wormy Guest. And it's by a girl called Eve Dignan. Well done, Eve. Fantastic. Yay! And your school gets but it's a visit from the author, Eve McDonald, who you can see in this episode being Jeez. interviewed. Eve is yes. going to come and talk to Eve. Brilliant. Fantastic. <laughs> and well done. Well done, Butler's Bridge. Well done. Overall winner. Overall winner. Ah, uh, no, this is very exciting. It's a story from County Clare, and it's an... Another Emma, an Emma O'Gill, and she wrote a story called The Picking Party, and she goes to a school called St. Tola's National School. County Clare, Emma O'Gill, The Picking Party, first prize Woo! in this year's Picker Pals 2023 Storytelling Competition. <laughs> Unbelievable, so exciting. So what, did Emma, what did Emma win? The, well, she, sh her story, The Picking Party, is going to be made into a little animation. So there's going to be like, her story is going to be like a little animation. And we're going to show that on the next episode of Picker Pals TV. Uh, wow, that's pretty exciting. It's pretty cool. It's, and we're very it's excited. So excited. 
But now it's over to the Pickapals TV newsroom for Pickapals TV news. This is the Pickapals TV news. The Picker Pals TV crew went to Sky Up Studio. They became special reporters. It's really ugly when you walk down the street and there's litter in the bushes. And when you're in the park with your friends, you just see a thing of litter and then it's just scraping you out and you never want to go there again. Excellent. Brilliant. Okay. Well Let's done. watch this, make sure we're happy with it. They get stuck and they might die because of litter and because of you. Yes. Pick up our TV group, they were honestly, it, like, they were really, really good. So um, they did everything really, really well. So yeah. There are six new picker pals. All animals beginning with B. A badger called Snaz, a bat called Grack, and a wild boar called Devo. More pals are on the way, including a kangaroo, an ant, and a koala. Our youngest picker pal, Oscar, went out picking. He's two and he loves wearing his high vis. There are two new Picker Pals books, a dot to dot book and a colouring book. Now the school in London are the third school to join Picker Pals. They have a cool sign in front of their school. Picker Pals visited the voice return for Change Bus. Soon you will get cash for empty plastic bottles. I'm here with Colin from Voice Ireland and he's going to explain to me what I can do in the future to get rid of my plastic bottles responsibly. Colin. Gary, that's an excellent question. Right now you put these into your recycling bin. Next year you'll be able to put them into one of these reverse vending machines. Amazing. Yeah. So next year when you go to a shop to buy a bottle or a can there'll be a little deposit placed on top of it okay. and this could be 15 cent or 25 cent. For a big bottle like this, it'll be 25 cent. Okay. So when your bottle is empty, you bring it to a shop, put it into the machine, and you get your 25 cent back. Ah, so if I don't put my bottle into the machine and I just throw it in the recycling machine bin, I'm throwing away money. You're throwing away money. It will still get recycled, but you're, you've no money left. Okay. Patrick met the Lord Mayor of Dublin. She wore the cloak of hope. The cloak also went to Kilkenny for St. Patrick's Day. Everyone was surprised by all the rubbish on it. That's all from Pick Your Pals TV News. Stay safe, pick up later! Pick Your Pals are the best! The Pick Your Pals are funny, but I want to find some money. <laughs> Let's go to the Picker Pals interview studio and talk to the famous children's author, Eve MacDonald. Picking, 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 Picker Pals. Hello, everybody. I'm here with Eve MacDonald, and she is a famous author. And she's written a very, very good book, which is called Else Time. And I'm reading Else Time at the moment. Hello, Eve. Thanks for coming on Picker Pals TV. Hello, Picker Pals. How are you? Thank you for having me. It's a great honor to have a famous author on Picker Pals TV. And uh, I have some questions to ask you. Is that okay? Please, I'm all ears. Well, I'm reading your book, Else Time, but there's some difficult words in it. And I wanted to ask you about them. Now, I came across a word which is mudlarking. What's, what's mudlarking? Yeah. Mudlarking is a really interesting word and it is all to do with mud. The mud that you find along a river, sometimes you will find people walking along that mud going squelch, 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 and they are looking for treasure. And those people are called mudlarkers. So I am a mudlarker because I'm a treasure hunter and I love to squelch around in the mud looking for treasure that's been put there hundreds of years ago. Wow, that's fantastic. And Eve, did you ever find some treasure? I did. Let me show you some treasure. Would you like to be my oldest treasure? We'd love to see your oldest treasure. Yes, please. This is a treasure that's so special that I keep it in a treasure box, in a treasure box. 
and this is what it is. Can you see? What is that? It's actually a fossil that is, do you want to guess how old it is? Uh, 20 years old. Very close. It's actually 400 million years old. So that is my oldest treasure. It was actually here before, 200 million years before the first dinosaur ever walked on our land. So that is definitely my oldest treasure. This is one of my newest, newest uh, treasures. It's a golden bangle. And it looks like a thing on my head right now, but it's actually something for your wrist. And I found that on British Bay Beach. Do you know British Bay Beach? Yes, I do. The big, long beach in Wexford, isn't it? Yes. I found this stuck in the sand, sticking out. And if you look really closely, you'll see some gorgeous little serpent heads. I think the story comes with this, is that it came all the way from Egypt. And I love to tell stories with my treasure. And that's how I became an author. You became an author from litter. You you started as a picker and then you became a storyteller. Yes. Of yes. So you find things and you tell stories about them. And that's like in your book, because uh, there's, a, there's a boy, isn't there, in your book who can tell the stories of things that he finds on the, on the when he's mudlarking, isn't there? And his favourite thing to find is one of these. Have you ever found one of these? It's a stone, is it? Can you see? Is it a stone with a hole in the middle? Yes. Wow, that's cool. It is. It's actually called a hagstone. Yeah, and a hagstone is something really super rare. So if you find one of these on the beach, it really is something special. So when you're litter picking, always keep one eye on the litter and the other eye looking out for hagstones because they're quite special. On the cover of, of, of this book, yeah. I love the cover of this because it's got a crow. And so do you, you like nature? I love nature. And you know why I love crows in particular? I can tell you a really quick story about a crow that comes to visit me. In fact, I have two crows that come to visit. And one is called Flotsam and one is called Jetsam. And I noticed one day I was receiving little gifts at my feeders. And they were little pieces of metal in different shapes. And they were little pieces of pottery. And the, I discovered that these crows were leaving gifts for me in return for seeds and nuts. But one day they left this for me. What's Can you see that? that? It's, it's Spider-Man. Oh, it's Spider-Man. Found, oh, it's Spider-Man's head. Mini Spider Man. We we're very lucky to have you on Pick a Pals TV, Eve, I must say. Well, it's a joy to be here. Thank you so much for having me. Picking, 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 picking. Pick her pals. Knock, knock. Who's there? Why? Why do you? Why do you have to be so rude? When I went litter picking, I found a wheel of a car. <coughs> a packet of KFC. Picker Pals is good for you, it exercises you, and it is fun. We visited a classroom in St. Sylvester's School in Malahide and saw the games they made out of upcycled materials. This is like football and you put your head in and you blow the ball. This is our basketball game, so you need to put the ball in here and then you pull it back and then you try to get it into the basketball hoop. So this is kind of like pool and there's like a stick and then you just hit it and see if it goes into one of them holes. This is a bottle top, top and you have to try and get the bottle top into one of the holes.
So this is a maze and you have to go like this. And if you make it all the way across, you have to dump it in like this. This is like basketball. Somebody moves this and somebody throws it. Chris is my favorite pickle pal because he is the first pickle pal. Picker pals are amazing. Picker pals are the best because they make a better living environment for the animals by picking up the trash. Yay! Now it's time to get in the pickermobile and go to Donegal. Picking, 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 picker pals. Picking, 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 picker pals. The Pickermobile took us off to one of the rainiest and most beautiful places in Ireland. You're very welcome to the go. <laughs> when the rain stopped, we went with Laura and her family to do our favourite activity, litter picking. We got lots of rubbish off the beach. We even had a special helper with four legs. Then it was time to head into Rathmullen. St. Joseph's National School were having a special event. We learned how to do some cool crafts with upcycled materials. Hi, I'm Moira from Perfectly Thrifted Interiors and I just want to show you how to make um, an upcycled desk tidy so you can keep all your bits and pieces in it that you have around the house. And to deconstruct this one, it's a coffee tin and an old sock. You cut the bottom of it, you don't even need any glue, and you put it around the tin like so. You slip on the lid back in the bottom through where you've cut the hole in the sock. And you twist it round and you put it back on and it ends up like this. A bean tin and some twigs and Easter eggs hanging on it and you can change it for the seasons so you can add Halloween decor, Christmas decor. You can use it all year round for your different seasons. Okay, so we have a mushroom um, made from old book pages and using PVA and decoupage. So you just chop up the pieces of the book page and you put it on a circular mould and you cut off the top and then you roll off of books for the inside to make the stem and use the spine of the book to make the inside of the mushroom. Lovely, upcycled, use your junk. Go, 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 circular economy. <laughs> Picking, 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 picker pals. Picker pals are not rubbish, but if you litter, there will be rubbish everywhere. Now it's time to learn how to draw Phil the Penguin.
picking, 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 pick her pals. My favorite character is Chris because he's cool. Hey, I'm going to party. Today we're all going to do Ava and Max teaching you Irish words. Shut a um, madra. It's Misha Craig. Tomisha Alexandra Quinine. Tasha Shaw Fela Khan. Ira Rua. Diagwit. Diagwit. It's Misha Dara. It's Misha Fion. It's a Rowan. It's a Proton. Slaton! Sure, a tutter. Shush, a quag. Sure, a penguin. Sure, a tiger. Ta a shaw okavan. Sure, a unfailable. Gleam up. Gleam up. Shaw arvark. Shaw bach. Call me shouse of her and down. It's Misha David, she a zebra. It's Misha Emma, she a Craig on Perto. Picking, 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 pick her pals. Now let's take a look at some of the fun pictures you sent us to Pierre's picture gallery. So keep sending in those pictures or posting them to hashtag picker pals. Episode, but that's all we have this time from Pick Up Pals TV. Don't forget to pick up litter. Make the world better. Up the environment. Oh!